Yeah. It's obviously from your Friday FL TV in association with Matt Lindsay and Mar Bear. Down in Greenbank Sports Academy, we've just witnessed the launch of MGM Liverpool. I think I've got a very happy looking Derry Matthews. How you doing? I'm good. Tired. It's been a long night. Um, I've been here all day setting, setting the venue up for the lads, but this is a paid off. Then. It was a brilliant show. I thought it was probably one of the best small show, small awesome. shows I've, I've been to for a while, if not, if not their best. The top of the bill fight was, was a classic. Mm -hmm. Two unbeaten fighters. They had a former GB making his debut, with Sam Maxwell, who I thought, and a lot of the crowd thought that was the best performance for the debut I've seen. Punch perfect. Um, good to see Quigley back, Tommy Carras back, Ryan Moore had stepped up again um, tonight, so you know, the future's looking good. And also, Steve Lewis, he, he, I thought he was very good as well, it was a, it was a great build. Um, every fight was, was worth watching. Mm -hmm. And the crowd, it turns out, it was, I think it was basically full in there. I'd say there was 1,000 to 1,200 people in there, so we're happy. Great turnout. The main event originally was supposed to be Bradley Price, but I think it's a, a good case to be made that they're setting up. I'm glad they weren't. Yeah. In, 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 in that case, they got value for money. Mm -hmm. um, £40, the cheapest ticket. And every seat in there was for £40. They were up on at the, the end of the fight, clapping. and you know, It was a great fight. Both fighters put in a great fight. Mm -hmm. Formal lips. JJ Box the former Olympian, so you know, he was a good kid, come to win. You know, he didn't fight a basic journey, but he, he boxed someone who come to win, and, and that's what JJ needs. And I think he wants, he's asked George to, to put him in for the title for the next, so I'm sure he'll speak to MGM and he can, can move him in the right direction. Do you think, you know, down at the end of the third, the bell came at the ideal time for Sergi? Do you think JJ would have got him out there? Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, definitely. Um, it was saved by the bell, it was a crack left too. Yeah. I don't know how we got up and some of the body shots he took as well, but it's he was a game fighter, come to win. Definitely. JJ's Peter took his unbeaten record and you now we can move on and I'm sure that opponents will come again and I'm sure he'll give many other opponents nightmares. It was, I think it was the seventh or the eighth as well where J, uh, JJ landed a massive right uppercut and it sent him staggering back. It's how he stayed in his feet. I was there, he's got, listen, he's got balls, he's got, you know, he's, he's mm. got massive heart as well, the kid. He, he come to win, and that's it. He's, he's, he's a fighting man. He's in terrific shape. How he makes the weight, I don't know, but listen, we're happy. MGM are happy. All winners tonight. That's it. Um, all good fights. Yep. So, you know, it was good. It was good on my point of view for the lads. It was good for the, the lads, the lads of the ERT. Um, we also have Phil Sutcliffe over as well from Ireland. I think the Irish crowd enjoyed the night. And they all look brilliant. I mm. thought so. You know, I'm, I'm happy, and I think the lads are happy. Happy, just as you're heading into fight week. Do we need a nasty there, Matthews? I'm happy, but I'm, you know, a lot of people said to me, oh, you, you, you know, you're looking, you're looking being lean tonight, but listen, now I can, the show's out the way, I've got a week now, I'm taping them down anyway, it's, it's a final week, it's about speed work now, it's just about, you know, getting to the gym with George Monday, Tuesday, a few little shakeouts, maybe half an hour sessions, but we're ready. I've done everything right, everyone's been asked to me, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready for action. And, I just can't wait until fight night. Mm. So, you know, I'm fighting a great kid in Newcastle, but I don't want to break him. What can we expect to see in fight night, do you think? We'll do next Saturday. What can we expect? I uh, expect to see fireworks. Mm. Uh, I'm not taking a backward step. I'm going there to, to beat you up. Um, as simple as that, I'm going in there to, to, to basically hurt him with every shot to throw. Uh, no backward step from me. Fight, I'm, I'm there to fight. Mm -hmm. It turns out like a street fight, I'm there to, to have a street fight. I'm going to be there to win the fight. I've got to throw hundreds of shots around, not just one, two, and three, like I did against Flanagan. I've got to throw them punches and bunches. And I know I'll get the win and I'll break his heart and break him in half. Do you think this is the fight that will launch you back into the, the title? It's the WBC silver title, so basically your man's is a challenger anyway. It's mm. um, the WBC world title, but I've just got to concentrate on what's ahead of me. You know, it's, 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 it's sort of a make or a break fight. If we get if we, if we get beat, where do we go? Mm -hmm. If we win, put an extra two years on my career. So, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. Um, and I'm, I'm buzzing. You know, that's in my own city. I'm on the undercard of Tony Bellew and, and my fans and my family can get to see it. Excellent. Derry, I'm sure you'll go through this all next week. So, oh, you get home. It's been I a long day. To bed. It's about 12 o'clock, so I'll get home to bed. Got to be up in the morning for running, so. That's it. Life, you're a true pro, eh? That's it. That's Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Dave.